Hey, Sarah, this is going to be a what's new for you that's coming in for the month of February. I just finished uploading Scorpio's videos real quick, Scorpio and Libra. So I'm going to do a quick shuffle on these real quick. We're gonna, we are going to pull from that deck here in just a second. But today we're going to be pulling cards for you guys from the good tarot. Because we want to see exactly what's the good energy that's coming in for my Saggy. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new to the channel, Saggy, welcome. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. It's completely free for you. If this message resonates with you in any kind of way... Be sure to like the video and please leave a comment. Some of you guys might be visiting New York or going to New York or have family in New York. We have No More Love by Glorilla. Not sure of her zodiac sign. But that could be, you know, a message in there from this particular song that's coming on right now. Oh, we got the Ace of Air. So you guys might get some kind of clarity, some kind of truth here, some type of communication. Or this could be you wanting to give some type of communication. Let's see. We have Nine of Water. What is the good that's coming in for Scorpio? Or, sorry, Sagis. We have the Three of Earth. Okay, I just want to make sure. Three of Earth. I'll show those cards to you guys again in one second. Um, Okay. This deck is so thick. Anything else for Saggy? Okay, so you guys could be nervous about a message. Send a message or it could be, you know, nervous about a message that may be coming to you as my phone just pink. Alright, we have the Queen of Earth at the bottom of the deck. So the Queen of Earth is somebody that's uh, nurturing, loving, self-sufficient, you know, can kind of provide for themselves. So this could be you, Sagittarius, in this energy, or this could be energy that's coming towards you or that you're going towards. Take it how it resonates. Behind that, I'm just curious to know, wow, two of water. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm hearing, I got love on my mind. I don't know who sings that. I cannot sing, so please don't come for leash. All right. But anyway, we have the Nine of Water, the Three of Earth, and the Magician. Okay. So I really feel strongly that this is a, for some of you guys, this is a love connection or someone that you got love for. We have the Nine of Water, Three of Earth, and the Magician. This could be something that you guys have been manifesting for a while. And maybe um, with the Queen of pentacles there or queen of earth at the bottom of the deck now it doesn't mean that it's an actual earth sign it could just be maybe you guys didn't feel like you were in the position oh and we got a little baby video coming on right now and he is definitely a sag um maybe you guys just felt like you weren't stable enough right the queen of pentacles or queen of earth excuse me they really want to be grounded in their connection or grounded within themselves so that way they can be grounded in their connection here but I feel like this is something that you've been manifesting for a while. And I feel like you're saying to yourself, you know what, now is the time <laughs> to go ahead forward. That uh, was what I was going to say. But what jumped out of the deck for you guys is the number eight. We have wings. You never needed those wings to fly. So a lot of nervousness here. So I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like, uh, I, I don't know. I, I, it's like I'm kind of getting something here, but it's like, I just feel like a sense of nervousness, right? Because it's like, okay, when you go skydiving, like you're nervous if you have never done it before, right? But you know you have the shoot on, but you're still scared to ultimately fly. Um, I don't know if that's a good analysis because you do need the damn shoot to come out, <laughs> to come out to slow you down from impact, you know, from crashing into the ground, right? Um, however, I feel like something similar there, like basically don't be afraid to spread your wings and jump and make the jump, take the leap of faith, right? Because you know, you have the parachute on, which is going to save you guys from crashing into the ground. It's going to prevent that harsh impact, right? And I feel like a lot of you guys are spiritually, a lot of you guys are evolved or have ascended. So I feel like you guys know 
when you probably should leave a situation. But in this particular case, I don't get that. I just get that someone is nervous here to call, to text, to reach out, to communicate. We saw the ace of air. All right, we have stars. You can manifest your every wish. Isn't that something? And we have the magician here, which is all about manifesting here. All right, so I feel like something that you manifested will be coming in, has came in, or something of that nature will be making an appearance for you guys. Um, let's see. What is the good for Saggy for the month of February? Someone rising in Venus. But I feel like whatever this is, is something that you truly do want and truly do desire. Because the Nine of Water is here. And wow, look at this. I didn't notice, but look at the under the water. It's like a treasure chest. So I feel like whatever this wish or desire that you do have, it is going to be, now it could be a spiritual treasure chest, right? Or the universe is just going to provide possibly diamonds for you guys. You and in, in, in your individual. Or if it's not actually diamonds, this is just stability, prosperity, growth. And look at how big that fucking diamond is, right? That thing is massive. It's like surrounded by wealth, surrounded by prosperity, surrounded by... And I feel like this is going to be many, many avenues of income or many streams of income, I want to say here. Because I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but at the very top of the card, there is a caterpillar. Not a caterpillar, I'm sorry. There is a, um, it's like an octopus. But he's hidden. I'm going to put my finger up there. Like right there, there is an octopus. And we all know that octopuses kind of, you know... They only make themselves aware or known. I don't really know because I'm not an oceanologist. Uh, don't don't quote me on this. But what I'm getting from the, from this card in particular, um, you know, they kind of do be in like the lurky, murky parts of the water, right? And you can't always see them until they fully come forward. So I feel like Spirit is going to bless this union or bless this connection here with multiple streams of income, but it's just something that you can't see right now because as as on the car here, the octopus is kind of in that murky part of the water where he can see what's going on, but you can't see it. Take it how it resonates. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it feels, it feels I, I mean, I get it. All right, it says, calling in your soulmate. What? Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And I almost said you two together, so I feel like... The person that's coming to your mind right now, it could be that person. I don't know. But because behind that was reconciliation. Um, so this, this is a beautiful, this is a beautiful reading. But I feel like someone has to make the effort, right? Maybe you need to go ahead and send a text message. Maybe you need to go ahead and communicate how you feel because the nine of water here is emotions. We had the two of cups, which means that that person does feel exactly the same way that you feel. It's a mutual energy. It says, release your ex. Time has come to clear your energy. So, yeah, this could be a reason why. It could be a delay. Okay. Uh, we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay. And lastly, we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay. Confirmation. If you guys didn't just hear that phone ping, you should have heard it. It was pretty loud. All right, so divine timing is at work in your love life right now. So maybe you, Saggy, had to wait for someone else to release their ex. They had to learn to love and heal themselves first. And this is why divine timing is really strongly at play here in your love life. Let's get a daily healing oracle. What time is it? Oh, 10 17. I got a great go. Okay, I'm gonna have to put up Pisces, Aquarius, and Capricorn when I get back. Um, respect your inner circle. I'm sorry. It says respect your inner cycles and honor them on your healing journey. Exactly what I said. So take it how it resonates. This could be you, Sash, that's on a healing journey. Or this could be your soulmate that you're calling in here is on a healing journey. I love this. Love wins. So as I said that, there's the king of cups and the knight of swords. Look, he's going towards that king. Letting that king know, hey, or it could be an emperor, empress, take it how it resonates. But the fact is that this person has love for you, 
Or you have love for them, but I definitely, or it's mutual because we saw the Two of Cups. And there's the Two of Wands. All right, let's see. What's the good that's coming in for Saggies for the month of February? Has the person healed that they're manifesting in, or has Saggy healed that they are manifesting in? All right, we got Page of Swords here. I feel like a little... Okay, somebody just spying on the Knight of Cup, okay? Keeping an eye on somebody from a distance here. But definitely went through some healing. We have the Three of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Um, this also could be... Yeah, that's coming out on the Release Your Ex. Um, love Yourself First is the Knight of Pentacles there. We do have the Page of Swords there. So I feel like you're just watching this person because you're you're trying to decide when you want to yep, go in with that love offer. Exactly what I was getting ready to say there. The Knight of Cups and the Fool card there. All right. Who's worth waiting for for Saggy? What is this divine timing? Who is this divine timing for? What's the person that's on Saggy's mind? The good that's coming in for Saggy's? Okay, let's see. Planning. Strategically planning. Patiently waiting here. Someone's a little guarded here. But there's that Ace of Swords again. Okay. So this could be you. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords though. Please and thank you. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords. Oh, wow. Ten of Cups. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's what I was kind of feeling. Uh... Two of Pentacles, so you guys could confirmation. You guys could be seeing two, two, two. Okay, so just strategically planning on how you want to make this proposition to this Six of Cups here. Now, in the Six of Cups could be anything. It could be someone that you may not have dated in the past, but you know it could be someone that you known for two years. As I'm being drawn to the two big cups of flowers at up the top. So it could have been two years that you've known this person here or been waiting on this person because it says worth waiting for. Or it could have been four years that you're wor waiting for. All right. Take it how it resonates. I don't really know. But I do know it's going to lead to this damn ten of cups. Okay. You're going to get your wish fulfillment, Saggy. You're going to be able to build that foundation and have that family. Uh, Ace of Pentacles is a promising offer here. It could be a proposal. It could be a, a proposition for a job. It could be relocating. It could be anything. And see, I feel like over time, the offer, the magnitude of the offer has grown tremendously from the Knight to the Ace of Pentacles here. Okay. And this could be you waiting for this person too to maybe build up some revenue for themselves, possibly from the Three of Swords. We know when you go through some type of separation, you know, finances could be, you know, affected here. So you may have someone may have to have start over from scratch. Take how it resonates. I don't know, but we had Knight of Pentacles, and now the Knight is going towards this family, this foundation, this offer, this person, planning on how to do it, planning on how to come in, what to say. Maybe we saw we saw diamonds here. So some of them, some of you guys might be wanting to commit to this person here, and maybe you bought. A small ring here with the Knight of Pentacles, right? And maybe over some time of planning on how you want to do it, maybe you guys are now sensing and feeling that, shit, this is not big enough. I need to get something a little bit bigger. So maybe you guys returned the smaller ring and went back and got a bigger ring. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. This is you guys going back and forth, you know. Do I want to, do I want to spend one pentacle or do I want to spend two pentacles? I don't really know, you know. Or how do I want to propose? How do I want to do this? Whatever the case may be, this is beautiful energy that's coming in for you guys. Um, I mean, it said to pull a card from this deck here, which is my deck. I haven't pulled a card from this deck from for anybody else to in here. How much time we got on there? Too much time. All right, what's the good that's coming in for Saggy for the month of September? Okay, I want you. We have travel. We have baby. Wow, I found the one. We have greedy. 
And, ooh, I like them all. I don't really know. Maybe this was that Three of Swords energy over there. Someone was liking them all. And we have Big Heart, okay? So someone definitely has a lot of love for you. Ace of Cup energy right there. And this whole greedy thing right here is kind of giving me, like, maybe this Three of Swords energy that you dealt with went through you or your person. Um, went through the whole Three of Swords. I like them all because someone might have been greedy. Or this could be you being greedy and not wanting anyone to be with your person, the new person. Take it how it resonates, apply it how it applies. But um, yeah, I love this. I love this for you guys, Saji. And take care. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment if this resonates with you. Um, even if it didn't resonate, you can leave a comment as well. But remember, energy is fluid, so it could be past, present, or future energy. Take care, guys. Be good.